Okay, so this is really weird. So you might know about Maui apps and you might also know about Maui Shell. And that's because I've done videos on both of them. And of course you watch all of my videos. However, you might not know because I haven't yet made a video about it. This is the video about the Maui desktop environment. So uh, first of all, in general, what is a desktop environment? It's not like the desktop that you see, that's actually more the shell. Uh, but rather it's all of the components that allow, uh, such as like the desktop, yes, but also the applications and uh, the frameworks, all of that together is the desktop environment. That's everything that you need to actually work with your computer. Of course, you install your own application on top of it. So what is the MAUI desktop environment? Well, obviously it's their applications, the MAUI apps and their desktop, so the MAUI shell. And this is where it gets weird. So Maui is very closely related to KDE and I, I don't even know what Maui is, but um, I don't know, Maui applications, as an example, are part of KDE. Maui shell isn't. So one might rightfully ask, is Maui desktop environment part of KDE? And the answer is, I mean, half of the Maui desktop environment are the apps and the framework Maui kit that actually uh, makes every allows everything to be drawn on the screen. And that is based on Kurigami and all of that is part of KDE. So half at least of the desktop environment is part of the KDE. The, the shell, just the shell isn't. So everything except the shell isn't. So KDE has one desktop, one desktop environment, sorry, which environment. And that's, that's just so weird. Let's actually, oh, by the way, I've got a cool to short. Yeah, and let's, uh, uh, <laughs> sorry. Let's actually give a look um, to, you know, the Maui desktop environment and w what that is. I, of course, uh, installed their ISO. Uh, which is which has a very weird name, which makes me think that they're trying to build their own distro, and uh, this is what I was greeted by. So I guess that it's meant for like phones and tablets if it automatically adapts adapts to like this form factor. However, you get the idea of what the shell is because you have, as an example, the ability to drag from this side and get the calendar and the notification from this side and you have a very GNOME-like, uh, GNOME 43-like, now they're redesigning that uh, quick settings and you have all of the MAUI apps on the and just so that you know what it looks like when I actually open up an application, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Now, you could say, Nicolo, why didn't you make sure that it worked uh, vertically so we could actually use this and uh, the issue with this one is that it's very experimental and just in my 30 seconds it crashed a couple of times so I don't think it's fair to really try it in front of you but this is what it's supposed to look like only you know vertical and not horizontal. Let's also give a look to the announcement, which is just from last week. And this is the release 2.2.0 and it starts off with Maui desktop. And I don't know, <laughs> I don't know when they started calling it that, uh, to be honest, probably even before this update, but this is surely the first time I, I actually noticed this. Um, so you've got loads, this is the ISO that I was talking about, which is called New Logic OS. New Logic OS. Uh, link is broken, but you can find it anyway. What is new? You've got uh, settings. This is how it looks like. And then you actually have the shell, which again is not part of KDE. Now, these are all of the changes to the shell. This is what it looks like. So it promises to be really pretty. Of course, uh, it's very. It starts. Uh, it just. It has just started as a project, so it's very crushing and everything. And finally, we have Maui Kit, 
which is part of KDE and is built built on top of Kurigami, which is uh, KDE's main uh, framework uh, to build applications. And these are all of the changes to uh, Maui Kit. These are all apps built with Maui Kit, uh, blah, 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 blah. And then Maui apps, which are also part of KDE. So we've got index, which is the file manager, which by the way, not only you can use on your Linux computer, whatever distro you're using, installing it or compiling it, but you can also use it on your phone because they also support APKs. On my Jing pad, which is there, I do have index installed. So this is how it looks like. This is Wave for music, and this is how it looks like. And then you have Pix, you have Boho, which is to take notes, Nota, Station Communicator, which is the contacts app. You have Shelf, Clip, and yes, I will go through all of them very quickly so you know what I'm talking about. This is the NX Software Center. So they're, they're even doing their own software center. I don't know if this is part of KDE though. This doesn't look like it's part of KDE. Uh, and X makes me think that it's a project for Nitrox, which is also a distribution that ships with Maui um, apps. But as far as I know, not Maui shell, I think. Uh, but mm, Nitrox is not part of KDE. Then there is Fiery, which is a new application uh, and it's a browser. <laughs> then we have Booth. What's that? Initial working camera fu functionality for taking photos. Strike, uh, which is a code editor. I, they did already have a code editor.